Hi everyone, my name is Bhavesh and I teach tips, tricks and secrets about MicroPython. Today we're going to do something very cool but very simple that I just learned this week, which is using WebREPL from inside the Thony IDE itself. So if you're like me and you don't like constantly context switching between different apps, like, you know, writing your code here in Thony and then saving the file and then going over to WebREPL and then clicking choose file and then clicking your file and then sending it over to your downstream device. It's just a lot of steps and it's kind of unwieldy. Uh, luckily for us, Thony actually has WebRepl feature built in, which I bet you didn't know about. And the way to access it is in a pretty interesting place. So let me just show you how to quickly do that. So you want to go into your Thony and preferences. And if you go into the interpreter tab over here, you'll see it says port or WebRepl. So usually it actually is trying to detect uh, your device connected over a serial port, right? For example, like an ESP32 or something. But you can change this over to WebRepl, put in the IP address of your ESP32, which you probably have from before, and then the password, which yeah, I'm very narcissistic, so it's just my name. Um, and just hit OK over there. And check it out, WebRepl connected, awesome. Um, since I'm running a server right now, I'm just going to send a control C. Hopefully that works. Okay. Yeah. And this is amazing. I'm actually accessing, uh, a, a serial terminal, like a REPL over the web on my MicroPython project, which is over here. And, uh, I can do stuff like, you know, I can do whatever I want and it's actually working. So that's pretty cool. But what's even cooler is you can send your files from here directly. You don't need to go to web REPL interface, send file, choose file. You don't need to do all that. You can just here, let me show you. You can open the file. You can open files from your MicroPython device and it slowly loads them because it's coming over the web. And yeah, there you go. These are all the files that are actually on my microcontroller right now. And if I want to edit something, let's say I want to edit that, it loads it, of course, a bit slow because it's a very big file. And then, yeah, here you go. That's the code that's there. So I can just, make some changes, do whatever I want. Once I'm happy with my changes, I can send a control D over here and I will restart the code on the microcontroller. Um, and my repo is also connected. So I think it's just a much more convenient and smooth way of working. I hope this tip was very helpful to you. I also want to say that please do subscribe. If you want more tips about MicroPython, you can subscribe down below or you can subscribe on my website, bhave.sh link is down below. Either or, based on your preference, whether you like videos or written articles. It helps me reach more nerds like you and help everyone learn about MicroPython, but also helps you because I take your feedback and based on your feedback, I make new videos that are helpful for your projects. So hope to see you join the community. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.